Welcome to another Build Day Live video here at Cohesity. I'm Alistair Cook, and I'm joined by Raj Dutt. Uh, Raj, what's your role here at Cohesity? So first of all, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I am part of the product marketing team at Cohesity, and I'm responsible for our core products, Data Protect. Great, and one of the things we're going to look at, we're, we can't really show in the live stream, is some of the responses to, to ransomware in particular, which is a fairly significant issue for a lot of clients. What are you seeing people asking for? What issues are they having? And, and how, how does Cohesity help them with it? Uh, so a great topic to actually discuss. Uh, as you said, it is top of mind for most of the enterprises. Uh, it is a persistent threat, it's, it's out there. And we very recently actually announced a comprehensive defense against ransomware. Because when you talk about ransomware, there are, there are a couple of things that happen. Um, we as users and even the IT, the enterprise IT, uh, think about it will not happen to me. That attack will not happen to me. Just, just like you think of the break-in would not happen at my house. Um, and, and second thing is we don't think about ransomware attack affecting the backup. Mm. Typically, what we saw historically was a backup impact in the production environment. And then the IT team was able to recover everything from their backup copies, more like, like an insurance policy. But as the technology has evolved, so have the ransomware attackers. They have become more sophisticated. Those malwares actually are becoming more sophisticated. Uh, example, Lockheed and crypto, they actually, they come into the environment and they sit around. They sit around for some time. They make their way to the shadow copies, the backup environment. They encrypt, worst case delete them, and then come and encrypt or take over the production environment. I think it's, it's really important to view ransomware as a business and the people who are producing the ransomware are doing everything they can to protect their revenue. And one of the things is that get rid of your backups because that's the way that you can avoid paying them money. And so this is why we're seeing that move to advance persistent threats in a ransomware that stay around for a while and, and first target your backups before they show their hand and hit your production data. Great, great. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what is happening. In fact, um, when we were doing our research before, before the announcement of the solution, we looked at multiple data points and it actually showed that uh, the collateral damage happening from ransomware is going to be exponential. It's not just the initial payout, but mm -hmm. the collateral damage with the, the image of the company, the customer experience, loss of data, all of that is, is compounding and it's, it's in billions of dollars. Um, so when IT users uh, and the decision makers, they look at their ransomware or our anti-ransomware strategy, they need to keep backup uh, front and center. It is not just about your insurance policy or bringing data back, but also how do you defend against a uh, ransomware attack on your backup? So the, a comprehensive solution like Cohesity that thinks about protecting your backup. Uh, you are an immutable file system, all your copies are immutable. Anytime there is a write happens, it, it actually happens to it's a, new space. A, a, a new space. So your original copy is always protected. Um, uniquely, Cohesity has a data lock capability. Essentially, it, it does warm um, where your copy is logged in and till the time the expiration happens on that date, even the security officer cannot delete it. So it's, it's purely just there, no, no one can fully, touch. Fully secure retention. Fully secure. And um, multi-factor authentication. Um, in fact, um, happened to me, I, I got an email in my personal account with uh, my password in the subject line. Oh. And um, Initially, I was I was panicking, but then I realized that, that password was at least three, four year old password mm. that somehow was out there. Um, but passwords do get compromised, and in fact, attack is not always outside of the company; it can also be internal. So, multi-factor authentication just just helps to make sure even if a password is compromised, um, it's your your network or your your system is secure. So that's prevention. But then things do go wrong. And in a situation where the, uh, the ransomware attack actually happens, how does a modern solution help you detect in a, in a real time? So mm -hmm. Cohesity actually does that, not just for the backup data, but it does not just at the ingest, but we are also looking at the unstructured data, looking at the file change rate, and we'll be able to alert 
customers if there is an anomaly. Uh, so anomaly detection happens uh, within the solution. So if a file share is being encrypted by ransomware, that's, that's going to be a very rapid change in the amount of unique data on the file share, and that will show up as an anomaly. Exactly, because if you just look at the backup, that ingest happens um, on an average, let's say, every few hours or at the end of the day. That's, that's mm. your typical average environment. Uh, but the file change might be happening more more rapidly. Uh, the name of the change or the encryption or something happening, that is more real time. Uh, so that's detection. But then how good your backup is is all dependent upon how good the recovery is. Yes. Um, so let's talk about that. Because we, we really only want a recovery product. When we're talking about data protection, we want a product that will recover. We, the, the backup is the necessary evil to get to the recover. Exactly. It's all about the, the recovery. So how cohesity... Uh, allows our customers to respond to a potential ransomware attack. Mm. Uh, things like our capability to save unlimited number of snaps and clones on premises without any performance impact. That's important because what you don't want to do is um, in a scale out cluster if you if you are moving copies to a cloud or some other location then you're bound by the, the network connectivity to mm. bring back that copy in for recovery. So that slows you down. So your recovery time gets very long if you have to follow up from remote. Exactly. Whereas in our case, you can store as many copies for as many years as you want uh, without any performance impact. The second is the ability to go and search for uh, the right copy. So our global search allows customers to search across clusters irrespective of where they are, whether it's on-premises, in the public cloud or edge, they can fairly quickly recover uh, the copies just with a Google-like search capability. Not just that, but the search actually will help them identify the, the best known copy, the right copy, clean copy, um, that the system thinks through machine learning is, is appropriate. But obviously, user has the, uh, the flexibility to choose to whichever, choose whichever, whichever they want. Whichever protection point. And that's, that's really important. The rapid restore is often that there's a single file that is blocking a business process at the, the ransomware infection. That mm -hmm. There's a lot of other things that are infected, but we need to get a business process running again by restoring just this specific file. So that search and granular restore is important. Correct. And while we talk about recovery, so typically when a ransomware attack happens, it's a DR situation. M more or less, customers are going to um, just bring everything bare metal up and bring everything back up. And in that situation, um, it's hard to bring your entire environment up or it's going to take a longer time if you're doing two or three or four VMs at a time. Cohesity very uniquely offers instant mass restore. The ability to bring up hundreds of VMs instantly allows to reduce that down uh, that, that uh, downtime mm -hmm. and bring business back on track fairly quickly. So. All these capabilities combined together, the ability to prevent backup from becoming a ransomware target, detecting it fairly quickly in real time, and then responding in a rapidly fashion allows Cohesity to offer a comprehensive protection or detection um, and response against, uh, against a ransomware attack. That's a fairly full solution for what many would, would, would view as not really being something that's responsible for ransomware. Often people would consider that the edge firewall and the uh, malware detection on the client devices is, is, is all you need, but I, my experience is that's not all you need and uh, that having defense in depth across your data protection layer is a really important part of ransomware protection. Absolutely. Um, enterprises do need those, those first line of defense. But like I said, the attackers are getting more and more sophisticated. So does your IT infrastructure, including backup, needs to be more modern to be able to respond to such uh, evolving attacks and evolving threats. Now, some of these features are, are built into the actual data platform, and, and some of the capabilities are really enhanced by using Helios. Can you talk a little bit about what you get if you're just managing your cluster locally, as the way we have historically, and if the difference if you move across to Helios, as uh, we've been increasingly using since it was released? Sure. Um, so Helios, uh, as you know, is our uh, SaaS-based uh, data and application management platform. Um, which allows customers to actually have a, not just a unified view, but be able to actively manage all their global clusters. Um, so the preventive capabilities, the response capabilities are all uh, in the data platform and available to all our customers. Uh, 
the capability of uh, detection is part of Helios. Helios also has machine learning built into it. And based on, on those learnings and the algorithms running in the, in the background, it is able to pick up uh, an anomaly. So for anomaly detection, Helios plays a key key part. Right. Yeah. And I imagine that moving beyond ransomware, that's the, a really important part of Helios's value proposition is to do that analytics and long-term learning. Exactly. It's um, it has a bunch of capabilities built into it. Uh, there are a few examples like capacity planning based on your utilization. It will look and and give you uh, contextually relevant information that's actionable. Um, if uh, if you have a hard drive problem happening, a normally detection on on hardware and software, so it will help you pick that up, respond to that, even do case management on on things like that. Uh, similar to our fitness apps and financial apps, it will look at uh, the anonymized data on how how the others with similar data set or mm -hmm. workload are having, example, higher DDoP ratio versus your workload. So it's right. going to give you comparat com comparative, comparative. comparative information all as well. At the end of the day, day, it's designed to help IT meet their SLAs. It's all about SLAs and ensuring that there is enough resources available to meet those business and IT SLAs. And I, I have an email in my inbox from, from Helios telling me that my cluster in my home lab is going to run out of, uh, run low on capacity in 90 days time. So I need to start planning for that. It's the exact use case for Helios. Exactly. Yep. Well, thank you very much for joining us, Raj. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us on this video. Stay tuned for more great Build Day live content from Cohesity.